how much control do we have on our own thoughts by the time i finish you all will have a little bit of an idea about it working with my clients for the last several years i believe i'm fortunate that i have learned the concept of golden circle that is you can understand any issue of your life just by focusing on what how and why part of it so i'll start with what what are thoughts thoughts are the language of mind i am talking to you using my words using my body language but once our minds speak they speak with thoughts everything in this world is created twice first in the form of an idea or a thought and then the physical reality takes place taj mahal was created twice so we can say that thoughts are the ground zero of the reality around us even this table chair this multimedia even this platform of power talk that was an idea and now it's becoming a reality so if thoughts are nothing but the language of mind then how thoughts actually impact us as per the research there are 60000 thoughts which comes to us in a single day and 90% of them belongs to the past or the previous day i have my personal life story to tell to relate how the change of thought process impacted me so i started my professional career somewhere around 18 years ago in a weaving factory close to kaidabad d7 ki bus leke aate the weaving ke khate ke andar ghumte rehte the so back then there was no concept of having a table and chair for the newcomers at least for the 3 years so the whole time spent into the weaving shed moving here and there and that's it nobody talks to us there was one activity that was very close to me and that was 4:30 pm tea break apne doston ke sath jaate the khate se bahar nikalte the thodi hawa lagti thi chai aur biscuit khate the aur har tarah ke gossip karte the किसको क्या मिलने वाला है किसके कितने पैसे बढ़ गए क्या पॉलिटिक्स चल रही है सो ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टफ मिल स्टफ वी यूज टू डिस्कस दैट लाइफ वॉज सिंपल एंड देन आई गॉट टू नो दैट द ओनर ऑफ द फैक्ट्री इज हायर एन इंडिविजुअल एंड ही वॉज गिवन अ कार ब्रांड न्यू कंपनी कार दिल पे लग गए मेरे बिकॉज I was having somewhere around less than ten thousand rupees of salary, and after one year, they gave me an increment of five hundred rupees. ऐसा लगता था कि अगर गाड़ी अच्छी होगी तो शादी भी अच्छी जगह पे हो जाएगी. So that kind of a concept that we used to have. But I was depressed because I was thinking that I deserve more, and I can have the same car. And one day, sitting on the same dhaba. I still remember the pain in my words. Yar, humare halat kab badlenge? Aur jo mere piche chai wala tha jiske paise kafir se se nahi diye the the. He said, "Sir, aapke halat tab badlenge jab aapke khayalat badlenge." So a little bit I I, I felt interest insulted but I was disturbed and later on I became very pushy with my seniors regarding my salary, regarding my benefits and the other things. so as a result of that they actually moved me into the night shifts so weaving ke khate ki night shift mein mujhe move kar diya gaya because maine tang kaafi kar raha tha so into the night shift what happened was that you have okay couple of rounds kabhi kabhi boss ki call aa jati thi kya ho raha but then most of the time frame was free and i was wasting my time but that's where i met my professional life first mentor he was couple of couple of uh, years seniors to me and every single time i met him either he was studying something either he was doing some vocabulary or word problems 
and then one one day he said akhtar you are not realizing you are fortunate enough to be in the night shift so early in your career life you have a lot of time invest it somewhere do something if you waste these years you will be in a big problem later on and you will keep on thinking the same way so somehow sitting with him doing the word problems my thought process started to change later i got enrolled myself into the preparation classes so in the day i was going to the uh, ibs city campus for my preparation and in the night i was spending time improving myself so slowly and gradually my overall thought process keep changing and that led me to different set of choices and those set of choices led me to the different kind of experiences i was feeling differently and that actually helped me so far and later i did my mba and the whole trajectory of my professional life got changed and i started seeing ki kapda banne ke baad kaam khatam nahi ho jata weaving is just a very small link in the complete value chain so my relationship with the textile also got to change so that's how a change of thought process actually resulted a change in me now it is said that you are the average of five people you talk most in a day so all of a sudden my average increased because i was talking with different individuals who were higher than me in every aspect and that impacted me as well now moving on why just focusing on your thought process matters the most now anybody who is born between 1975 to 85 and who happens to love watching cricket one of the most important event happened in our life was 1992 world cup Now I have a picture that was taken just before the toss that's on the left So Imran Khan the captain of our team he was standing straight having his both arms on the side as if he is going to attack somebody He was wearing a shirt having a tiger on it whereas the opposing captain he was standing on his one leg and his shoulders were down The body language expert says that Imran actually won the match even before the toss because the clarity of thought process and the game plan was so clear that it was reflected back into his personality that he was carrying. If we have clarity the way we talk the way we walk and the way we create impact changes and that's what happened over there. and similarly in the champions trophy final now virat and safaraz now virat is a much bigger star than safaraz and also safaraz is of a slightly a shorter height but he was actually trying to copy what imran khan did back in 1992 and virat again standing on one leg and pressing his fingers a sign of nervousness so that's how important it is to focus around your thoughts if you do that it will change your whole personality from your shoes till your shirt you will carry a message and if something is not clear on the top you just cannot avoid it the other people will recognize it it is impossible to hide that you have something which is not resolved upstairs that's why it matters the most now what can we do about it i am not the expert for sure but there are a couple of things which are part of my life for considerably longer period of time and believe me i'm fortunate enough that i've been through the worst kind of meetings and i try to do these things even before every single meeting 
first self talk what kind of language do we use about our own self never ever say anything negative about your own self so if i say something bad about you this will hurt you for sure but if you say something bad about your own self this will hurt you the most never say anything negative after word i if you are broke never say i am broke say i am managing my cash flow issues always have a positive connotation when you are talking with your own self that's integrity second affirmations words have their own power inside it try to pick those words that actually empower you that makes you feel good make a statement past is past past does not equal future my best is yet to come that's mine you may you can make your own and repeat it at least 20 times in a day why you repeat it just enough so that it can become part of your own dna part of your own subconscious mind and by the way tasbih ka bhi kuch yahi similar concept hai you repeat a phrase over and over again with focus you are talking with your subconscious mind trying to feed something in with my clients i have attended in the last 7 or 8 years many conferences and many presentations and believe me their presentation starts with the same word it ends with the same word and somewhere in between as well they carry their vision statements in almost everything that they discuss and that's how it becomes part of their own dna so when they talk when they think when they interact it depicts what they actually believe in so affirmations are of great importance repeat it before doing anything in your daily activities and finally we all can have just 5 minutes for our own self close your eyes focus on your breathing and say thank you alhamdulillah for what you already have be grateful what you have already achieved so just by doing these three things you will have i'm telling you a much greater impact with which you interact with the world now today is 14th of february so you must be having some good thoughts about the evening probably tonight but allah taala ne system kuch aisa banaya hai ki all the positive thoughts and all the positive energy can never produce any result unless until it is backed by actions positive actions so i am talking some beautiful words to you now this will give a feel good factor new year resolutions a feel good factor the feel good factor will last for certain time and then it will dissolve but keep having yourself into the positivity unless until it translated into the good positive actions only then you can create an impact now final words today's world whether it's personally or professionally it's getting complicated it's confusing it's competitive don't worry about the speed don't worry about the speed there are so many people going very fast nowhere 
direction is much much more important than the speed use your thought process control it to your own advantage that's how you can create an impact may allah bless us all thank you very much